In the Kitchen is brought to you by Food Services of America. Good morning. Welcome back to Creme 2 Morning News on the CW22. We are in the kitchen this morning with FSA chef Alexa Wilson and Gina Garcia from CHAPS. That's a local staple here in Spokane. Morning. Yes, it is. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in this morning on our snowy Valentine's Day. A pleasure. We are talking about some of the treats that you guys are dishing up today for the holiday. Well, we're making uh, for dinner service our strawberry carousel cake, which is mm -hmm. white chocolate and fresh strawberries. Mm -hmm. And that's delicious. And you got it, you're walking us through what goes into that this morning, right? Correct. Yes. All right. So where do we start? Well, first of all, you want a cheesecake pan with a removable bottom, and then we have a sponge cake, and that's going to be our base. Mm -hmm. And then we'll soak that with a little bit of simple syrup, which is sugar, water, and I've added a little Grand Marnier to that to give it a oh. nice little kick for the strawberries. A little zing to it. Yes. So is that the pastry chef's secret to keeping the cake moist? Yes, it is. Oh, yes. okay. Good to know. Sponge cake tends to be a little bit more on the dry side, so it'll accept a fair amount of this liquid. Maybe that's why it just never turns out the same when I make it at home. Well, and, <laughs> and the Grand Marnier in yeah. there too, right? Wonderful. So oh, now what are you pouring on now? A little bit of cocoa powder. So this is cocoa, sweet ground chocolate, and then a little bit of shaved chocolate. Because just one kind of chocolate is well, not enough. That's not, right. Hey, it's Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. That's you can right. do whatever you want today. You bet. And then I just take some whole strawberries and place them oh, randomly kind of in all the over middle. In there. Okay. And then you take you slice them in half and you line the pan with the sliced side facing out. That's how we get achieve this look here. That's very cool. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So you'll do that all the way around. Uh, Why don't I finish the berries pan. and you can do this really, what is pretty complicated to at least myself, the chocolate part. The oh, white chocolate yeah. Part. How do we do that? So what I've done is taken some white chocolate and melted it. You can do that over a double boiler or mm -hmm. just in, pop it in your microwave. And there's a little bit of water in here as well. So we've done that ahead. And this is going to be the coating on the cake, right? Correct. Okay. That's, uh, it's technically a mousse. A mousse, okay. Good so to we have about a minute and a half left. Okay, so, uh, and then I've pre-whipped some cr heavy whipping cream here. And we'll just add that right into the chocolate. You know what all this says mm -hmm. is this is made with love. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, effort that goes into yes. this, and it's beautiful and delicious. And a lot of the pastries down at Chaps. I mean, this is just one that you're offering, but I mean, you guys have an assortment. Yes, we make uh, laminated doughs like croissants and cookies and pies and bars, cakes, all sorts of. Uh, Cakes today will be offering Valentine shaped, heart shaped cookies mm. and French macaroons. And then for dinner service, they'll be doing a filet mignon with uh, uh, Oscar. Oh, so that, that sounds, sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Then you can have this for dessert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once that's completely folded in, then you're just going to pour it right over the oh. strawberries. That's she makes beautiful. it look so easy. Yeah, as I say, this See? is not happening for me at home, mm. but that's beautiful. And with the magic of TV, we already have one done here. We already have one slice cut out. Look at how it holds up perfectly. Isn't it that is beautiful? Awesome? It is beautiful. And then what's this rimming that we have here? Of oh, uh, we've taken a little bit of crushed uh, pistachios, and I take some uh, apricot preserves and wipe it around the edge and then just press your crushed pistachios around the edge. So that's the glue that makes them stick on there. Correct. Love it. And this has to set overnight in order to get it out of the pan without it, you know, flopping all over the place. Good note <laughs> wow. to have. Now, if people are interested in checking out CHAPS today for Valentine's Day or in the future, we have your address there on the screen. Where can they reach you? Uh, our number here is 624-4182. We're there Tuesday through Sunday. We're here today until 9 o'clock. Are you accepting reservations? Um, yes, we are. Okay, there you go. Right. You guys, thank you Gina, so much for coming you. in oh, and sharing this beautiful dish with us. I'm going to taste test it as we go to break. It is 819 now. We'll be right back. Should I go from the middle to the outside?